In this video, we're going to take a look at a feature of Word called Leaders. It's associated with tabs. And a leader is a character that leads up to a tab stop. So let's see how this works. I'm going to start off with a left tab stop. We're just going to click out here around the two-inch mark, so we've got a little bit of space to the left. And I'm going to hit the tab character, and I'm going to type in a little bit of stuff. I'm going to hit Enter. And I'm going to hit tab again and type up a little more stuff. And we'll get several lines here. Okay, so they all should line up directly under the two inch mark. If I click on that tab stop, I see that they all start immediately after the tab stop position on the ruler. And now I'm going to select all three of these lines here. Let's go over and select all three of them. Then uh, on the home tab, uh, this is a paragraph formatting command. Click on the, in the paragraph group here, click on the dialog box launch or this little uh, square with an arrow in the lower right hand corner and it will bring up the paragraph dialog box and most of the stuff that's on this box um, you know this stuff here can be done by dragging the markers on the rulers uh, the spacing before and after can also be done on uh, the layout tab and um, what we want is we want to go to the tabs button down here on the bottom left the tabs dialog box opens for us what we see in the tabs dialog box is a list of all your tab stops will be in this big box right here. We've only got one tab stop, so we only see one thing there. Down below, there is an alignment group where we can specify how we want to align this tab, this tab stop. And this tab stop is a left tab stop, so that is already selected for us. And then we can specify a leader character, and there is no leader on this, so that's the default that's set as well. What I want to do is I want to add a leader character, and we're going to try, we've got three choices. There's a dot leader, a hyphen leader, and an underscore leader. We're going to try the dot leader first. That's probably the most common one. Anyway, uh, turn that on, click on OK, and what you see is you see a bunch of dots leading up to the tab stop. I've got all three of these selected. And the nice thing about doing this is you don't have to type in the dots yourself. If I decide I wanted to move this over two more inches, the dots are still put in by Word for me. Now that looks a little bit funny because normally you don't have a bunch of dots uh, leading up to the first text on a line. So we are going to just delete all of this for right now. So I've got them all selected. I'm going to hit the delete key on the keyboard. And now we're going to put a couple of left tab stop here and another right tab stop we got to cycle through them over here until we get to the right tab stop over here at about the five inch mark and this is what you're much more likely to use the leader character for uh, you can type in a little bit of text tab over type in a little bit of text and i'm going to do three lines like that okay so i've got three lines a tab character at the beginning of each one and then a tab character in the middle the text after the first tab is going to be left aligned. The text after the second tab is going to be right aligned. If you're doing a program, uh, you know, a table of contents or something like that, you know, typically you'll have, uh, say, character's name in a play and then the actor over here, character, actor, character, actor. And it's easier to follow if you've got a bunch of dots connecting the first part to the second part. So we're going to select these three lines. And we're going to go back to our dialog box launcher up here in the paragraph group. And we're going to tell it that we want to adjust our tabs. And now you can see you've got two tab stops here on the current line. And the one that we're going to be modifying is the five inch one. The one that is currently set to be modified is the one on the one inch mark. Whatever tab stop position is listed here in the top box is the one that's going to be modified. I don't want that one, so I'm going to click on the five inch tab stop and that's the one that goes up in the box and you may have noticed that this went from left to right when I did that and so now I'm doing the five inch tab stop leave it on right I'm going to put a dot leader in there though and then I'm going to click on OK and now I get a bunch of dots leading up to it and the beauty is if I select these lines they're still selected now all I can do is uh, if I want to change that all I have to do is just drag that tab stop and I can reposition it any place I want to. I don't have to go in and delete care, or delete dots or insert a bunch more dots. Um, Word does all the work for me. And I accidentally pulled that off of the ruler. So we'll 
we can do a control Z and bring it back up on the ruler. As long as I've got these selected, we'll try the other two leader characters. Let's go here and on our paragraph dialog box, let's click on tabs in the lower left hand corner. Make sure you select the five inch one. This is one I forget all the time. Um, I go in here, I start messing around down here, but forget which to set the appropriate tab stop position up here. I want to do the hyphens this time. I'm going to click on OK. And now I get a bunch of hyphens there connecting the text on the left with the text on the right. OK, we're going to do one last leader character. We're going to leave all these selected with the hyphens as the leader character. I'm going to go back to the paragraph tab here. And we're going to click on tabs and it'll open the tabs dialog box for us again. And this time we're going to make a mistake on purpose. Um, I'm going to select the one inch one, which a lot of times I do anyway. I forget to switch up here. And I'm going to tell it that I want the underscore character as a leader and then click on OK. And I've got the underscore in the wrong place. So we need to go back. Now you could do Control Z, but I want to show you another thing. So we're going to click on tabs here. And I want to undo that. So I'm going to click on none. Then I want to go to the five inch one. And I want that to be an underscore. And then click on OK. And I got the underscore here, but what happened to the none that I selected for my first tab stop? Well, I'll show you what happened. Let's go back in and click on the dialog box launcher. Let's go to tabs. And with the one inch tab stop selected up here, I need to go down here and choose none. And then I have to click on set if I'm doing more than one thing. So I've got to say set that to none. Now let's go look at the five inch one. And that is set on underscores just to be on the safe side. I'm going to click on set there, click on OK, and now I get what I want. So be careful. If you're making more than one change in the tabs dialog box, make sure you click on set after each one.